A beautiful good morning to everybody. And as you can see, the sun is shining in through the studio here, and this is one of the reasons why it's a fabulous little place to be during the darker months of the year. And we're on the descent now to Samhain. So this is just a wonderful little place to be. And very easy to keep cosy and warm. You can see I was snuggled up on here last night. Got home last night um, and uh, <laughs> Jack had been missing me. So we went for a little walk and then I got my dinner on. Very simple little meal in my pressure cooker. Just potatoes and vegetables and um, some, some, uh, some chickpeas, you know, some beans. And <laughs> that's a fed up pose. <laughs> That's a, oh God, she's whittling on again, Pose. <laughs> He's a bit of a comic, isn't he? <clears throat> no, I totally forgot where I was. All right, last night. Yeah, so um, I didn't get any of the stuff moved outside. You know, all the, all the cuttings, all the, all the stuff that I cut back. Um, so I'm going to be doing that today because it's such a lovely day. I'm going to be here at home working happily i always work happily because it's one of the great it's one of the great um privileges i think you know to to be able to let me just unlock this door to be able to get up in the morning and um welcome in the day get the little chores done and then look forward to why it's called working it shouldn't be called work anything that you do with mother earth out there that's not work that's just pleasure so i'm looking forward to spending the day with her her with a capital h so a few things i'm going to say let me just sit down here it's not too wet is it oh look there's my beautiful mitts <clears throat> okay. And just see the sun on the other side of the of the laurel arch, the big bird in the sky there. <sighs> Let me just gather my thoughts now. So what's happened over the past uh, week, maybe two weeks, is that subscribers or subscriptions on YouTube have soared. I don't know why this has happened. Um, it's a complete delight, by the way. I'm thrilled to bits because it means that more and more people are tuning in to the very, very simple little message which could be just said in the space of 30 seconds but I think visually it's lovely to see the message over and over again um, and the message is reconnect with Mother Earth reconnect with her she's waiting to see you <laughs> that's that's really all there is to it. And with reconnecting, you know, what is it that you're going to do? Well, you're going to get close to her. You're going to plant. You're going to plant trees. You're going to help her recover from the fatal illness or near, near fatal illness of corporate greed. Corporate greed. And when you think of it, you know, Corporate greed and greed in general has been a huge burden for her to carry. <coughs> it's been the reason behind. It's been the reason behind everything. You know, everything that's bad. Greed. 
inner wars, poverty, um, the extraction mentality, you know, because these greedy people have got a very extractive mentality and uh, they simply do not understand the meaning of enough. Enough. But anyway, let's go for a wee walk now. Just go for a little walk and we'll have a wee look around and listen to the birds and just take in all the changes that's happening now at this time of the year. We are descending towards Samhain and Samhain is the most important festival in the Celtic calendar. It is the Celtic New Year. You know Van Morrison sung about that, didn't he? The Celtic New Year. And the Celtic New Year is part of the cycle that is Mother Earth. So it's this beautiful acknowledgement that we are part of the earth and everything returns to the earth and we go on and on. And <coughs> I've written, you know, several um, pieces over on the Bealtaine Cottage website about the Celtic belief in the transmigration of the soul. And the transmigration of the soul was part of their core belief system that everything transformed, that nothing died, everything simply transformed. And I think from that core belief comes these little, you know, peripheral beliefs, like, for example, if... Um, if someone dies and then a little bird comes near, you know, the bird carries a soul. If you look back into the old goddess culture, and there was one, and it was part of um, a peaceful time within, uh, well, Europe that we know of. And Maria Gambutis writes about this. And uh, if you want to check out a few of the videos which are up on YouTube that um, host Maria giving lectures on this subject. If you just type in Maria and it's spelled M-A-R-I-J-A Gimbutis G-I-M-B-U-T-A-S there's some fascinating um, talks by her which will explain this better than what I have time to explain on this short video. But the transmigration of the soul and the belief that everything went back, everything was circular, everything was cyclical. You see, that flies in the face of corporate greed because corporate greed instills in your mindset a corporate need. I need that. I need a new car. I need a new fitted kitchen. I need to get rid of that and I need to get something better. And that's not what need is. Need doesn't mean that. It's got nothing to do with need. That's greed. And um, uh, the whole manifestation of the corporate world has been very clever because they've managed to convince so many people, so many, that this is what you need. And if you don't have it, you're not part of things, you see. So, here I am rambling on about 
one thing and another. But it's trying to pull together all those threads of what is making us feel disconnected and the 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 whole the whole drive behind the Bealtaine project is about allowing people to feel connected giving them pathways giving you all pathways to get to the same goal and that goal is to be part of Mother Earth. We have become such an unhappy little species because we don't feel part of her. He feels part of her. Scenting other lives. So I think what I'll do is I'll just walk down the driveway with you all. We'll go for a little dander. Look, there's lots of little flies and little, they're almost like little fairies, you know, when you see them in the sunlight. And who's to say they're not? Because when we look at something like that, we have to scan the memory banks in our brain and think, what is that? I've got to pull up a picture, you know, we're a bit like a computer, got to pull up a picture of what that could be. And so that stops us thinking what it really could be. Isn't it interesting how we've become, how we've allowed the sanitization of our thoughts and within that, the sanitization of our very being. And I was thinking about this yesterday, you know, when I was talking with Fiona, um, Fiona is the beautiful lady who makes those wonderful dolls and each one is completely different. Each one seems to carry with it um, a magical essence. You know, um, it allows you to see other faces. You know, to step outside the sanitised mindset Look at that little robin up there singing away. Delighted that the sun is shining and happy just to be alive. And as it's singing, other little birds are singing to it. So it's having a little conversation. beautiful. The sun feels so warm on my back. Look at all those little, little fairies flying around. There's a little bird inside the geranium. Can you see it? Let me just do a close up without getting any closer.
There we go. A repurposed thing. Now I haven't put a little stick or anything in there for the birds to land on because I think it's safer for them to learn how to just to you know to learn that wee skill of getting in there because that makes them safe then from well there is a sparrow hawk who likes to come and have a little bit of a flit around here. And from um, from looking at at the level of bird food in there, they do manage to get in and out quite nicely. Birds are very clever. They learn how to negotiate things very quickly. They're very adaptable, I suppose. Now look at the birch tree losing its leaves. There's a little bird sat up there, look, just preening itself. Having a wee clean, fluffing up its feathers and cleaning out the little mites. Oh, well, I'm going to be taking the boy for a walk. So I suppose I should get in and take off my little cloggies, my little garden cloggies and uh, put on my boots. Jack! Come on. Come on. Come on. He says, he says, no, you come on. No, you come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> that was a bit of a standoff there. I will take you out, darling, but not just at the moment. Mummy's going to go and make another cup of coffee and upload this little video. And there's the wee robin back up there, look. <laughs> so, there's a promise of a grand old day here. And um, I'll get stuck into clearing up all this. And I might even after I've taken Jack for a walk and done a bit of work I might just nip down the road to Ard Carn to the garden centre oh my <laughs> this is caught on a thorn and uh, treat myself to a pot of tea why not look at all the changing colours by the way you begin to see the sort of swathes of trees, all the difference. <laughs> birds. The birds are in their element this morning. The sun, the sunshine. It's lovely to see the sunlight just dappled like this through the trees and Beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, look at this. He says, I don't care if you're standing there. I'm just coming down now to have my breakfast. say blessings to you all and have a beautiful day and I want to say a big hello and special blessings to all the new subscribers and I hope you enjoy all the videos I mean they go back I think there's over a thousand videos most of them are quite long um, the occasional rant sorry about that well no I'm not sorry about that the occasional rant <laughs> and um, Lots of information, I hope. Um, and a little bit of philosophy, a little bit of sharing what is the Bealtaine Project philosophy. Um, 
and just a lot of enjoyable simplicity. So a big welcome. There's also a website, by the way, bealtonacottage.com. Blessings to you all.